Welcome to the CAUIM 8.5.1 Manual Linux Robot Installation Video. During this video, you will be presented with the steps taken to manually install a robot onto a Linux operating system. As a reminder, whenever you are upgrading to any CAUIM 8 versions, it is important to refer to the support matrix found on the support downloads page to view the supported upgrade path. For anyone that is new to the CAUIM product, robot is CAUIM terminology for agent. Throughout this video, you will learn how to download the robot binaries, install the robot on your Linux OS, and have your Linux host appear within the CAUIM infrastructure. We'll start by reviewing the CAUIM product documentation for a robot installation on a Linux host. To begin, We'll open a browser and navigate to the wiki found at docops.ca.com, then select CA Unified Infrastructure Management Documentation from the pull-down menu. Next, we will navigate to the page that describes how to install a Unix robot. The process for installing an individual robot on Linux is the same as installing a secondary hub on that platform. We'll use the available link to examine the documented process for that task. We will also access information on NIMSoft loader flag settings using the associated link. Reviewing the flag settings, we see that the default flag settings will satisfy our requirements. So now we will open a PuTTY session with the Linux host. This is a clean Linux host with no prior CAUIM installation. Before downloading the NIM loader binaries, we'll create a target folder called CA underscore UIM and set it as the current directory. We can now use the wget utility to download the NIM loader binaries. In order to do so, we need the URL location for the binaries. To obtain the URL, first open the CA NIM soft web administration page in the browser. Then we'll switch to the installers page. Right clicking the NIM soft loader link will provide us with a menu option to copy the associated URL. The copy link address menu option will copy the required URL to the clipboard. Now that we have the URL, we'll return to the Linux host and download the NIM loader binaries. Now that they're uncompressed, we will extract them. Notice that a directory was created for each Unix and Linux operating system that UIM supports. The tar file has everything you would need to install NIM Loader for all platforms. We are working with a 64-bit Linux OS, so we will navigate into the Linux 2364 directory. We will now use the change mode command to add the execute permission to the NIM loader binary. And now run NIM loader. First we're presented with a list of IP addresses for the install target, and we'll have to choose the one that the robot should bind to. This Linux host has a single IP address, and we will select it. Next it asks where to store temporary files. This directory will contain the installation log and any other temporary files written by the installation. Press enter to accept the default destination. Next it asks if this is a cloud installation. Typically the answer is no. If you select yes to this prompt, the Linux host will be built with empty UIM component configuration files. 
This option is intended to be used by administrators that are building a standard image for servers in the cloud. In this case it would be standard Linux servers in the cloud. If you are building a standard image, you want clean configuration files on the robot and setting this option to yes will do that for you. Since that is not our intent at the moment, we will press enter to accept the default answer of no. We are now asked if the installation files are available locally. They are not. The NIM loader itself is just an installation utility. It is not the actual installation package. By pressing enter to indicate our answer is no, we will be asked to provide a network location from which the installation package can be downloaded. Now we are asked if there is a host running a NIMSoft hub that can be queried for the installation file. We'll press enter to accept the default answer of yes. Then enter the IP address of our primary hub. The script then asks us to confirm the domain name and hub name that is found at that IP address. We press enter to do so. The script then prompts us with the installation package that it believes is correct for our target host. We want the Linux 2364 package, so press enter to accept this value. This package refers to the version of glibc. Prior to downloading the package, we need to provide the user name and password used to authenticate with the package source. The package is now downloading to our Linux host, and will prompt us for additional information before the install completes. First we are asked what we want to install and where. We want this to be a robot-only installation. We'll accept the default install location. Next we are asked whether the robot should automatically be unregistered when it goes away. This is useful for cloud environments where you have images come and go as applications dynamically support the load. In this case, you would typically not want the robot to stay in the CAUIM hierarchy and turn red when the related host image is no longer present. For robots on hosts that are expected to always be present, you would want to answer no to this prompt. We will do so for this Linux host. Now we are asked if the robot should be installed in passive mode. Passive mode is used when the hub is blocking incoming requests on port 48002. When this is true, the new robot is not able to register with its hub automatically. When passive mode is selected, the robot must be manually added to the list of installed robots through configuration of the hub probe. The primary hub is not blocking port 48002 so the robot does not need to be installed in passive mode. We will accept the default values for the domain and hub we want the robot to be deployed to, and verify the IP address of the hub. After we have done this, the installation will continue until it is complete. Now that the installation is complete, we will examine the UIM hierarchy in the admin console and verify that the installed robot appears. As you can see, the robot is present. Our robot installation was successful. For more detailed information about how to install CAUIM, Click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit the UIM community, or see the learning path.